must have pickles! Ahoy, ahoy. Well, I'm glad you could show up on such short notice. Uh, obviously I am down one co-host. I needed a new co-host. Uh, if you told people who you are, uh, hi. I'm Attack Slug, and this is the first episode of Perplexing Pickles, where I show my good friend Stu here how to play video games. And uh, I'm sure he's already introduced himself, so we're going right, to get started today with the first episode. It's going to be Bloodborne. No, Bloodborne. Yes, Bloodborne for the PS4. It is exclusive to PS4. It is fantastic. So uh, my job is to teach him how to play video games. So let's get started with Bloodborne. All right, here we are in Bloodborne, uh, the new game from From Software and Sony, PS4 exclusive. I'm going to load up my game and then kind of drop you in the middle of my game and uh, see how that goes. Should be interesting. So we're going to head about halfway into the game here. Uh, I know, but you're still going to be a little overleveled for where you're at, so don't worry too much. All right, here we are in the Forbidden Woods. I'm going to hand you this controller and... Uh, we're going to get started, so get comfortable with the controls a bit first, kind of, you know, see what the movement feels like, and uh, get a handle on how that works. So the most important button in this game you're going to want to know is the L1 button. So this is the Forbidden Woods, uh, about halfway into the game. Uh, it is an area that I have already cleared. Stop, look, stop rolling around. Hit the L1 button. There you go, two-handed weapon. Fantastic. Not as many options, uh, I guess I should ask, are you familiar with the Soul series. Alright, then you should know pretty much what to expect here uh, in this game, so there are some guys dodging in this game. Super important, uh, that is the, s the circle button is the dodge button. Ah, uh, there's a trap. You fell for it. Well, you, at least you dodged it. At least you... Nope. That's how, the, that's how these case games work. So you'll notice here when you're hitting these guys and you're getting hit, there's an orange meter next to your red meter on your health bar. That is, if you can get a hit back in before that goes away, then you regain health. So it's the risk-reward of the combat system. And those guys are guys that are terrifying. So much like the Souls games, uh, yeah, he's gonna bite at you. Uh, much like, you probably should not be next to him. It's probably a bad idea. Um, they're gonna get poisoned. But, much like the Souls games, wandering through an area for the first time is absolutely terrifying. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have you go to an area that I have not played yet uh, and see how you fare in a appropriately leveled area. No, fuck you. Fuck you. An appropriately leveled area should be a good test of your skills. This is Kanehurst Castle. Uh, I just unlocked this. So, good luck. Uh-oh. I just saw something move over there. That's not good. Oh, guess what? There's another one of those. Whatever the hell that thing is. Uh, and it's doing some serious damage, and you aren't doing that much damage to it, so, uh, I hope you've learned how to dodge. And... you're dead. Are you gonna fight that thing again, or you should go fight that thing again? It went so well last time. No, fuck you! Three hits when you're two-handed, that's, that's, that's rough. If you're having to fight more than one of those things, uh, good fucking luck. Oh, good, there are two more. Well, what did I just say? Take things more cautiously. Don't don't just run in there. What the fuck are you, an idiot? That one was all your fault. Don't even put that on me. That, that, was, that was all your fault. I'm going to cut that joke. No, I, I'm cutting that joke. That's terrible, dude. Fucking terrible. Just don't, don't, don't even get me started. I, I, I had enough problems with the last fucking co-host. Don't, don't even get me started. Oh, that's, you know, the, the, the appropriate... Uh, reaction for, for this, this kind of game, and uh, here they go, and they're just gonna, you better dodge better than that. I guess uh, the last thing you should go look at is the hub world, so give me this, give me this back here, and I will show you what, what, what the hub world uh, looks like. So this here is the hunter's dream, it is the hub world where you do your leveling, uh, where you access the different areas, and uh, where you, you know, can upgrade your weapons. And up here is the doll, and she is uh, how you do your leveling. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to end this video. I think, I think I've shown you a good portion of what Bloodborne is, what Bloodborne is about. And uh, if you want to keep playing it, well, go buy your own damn copy. And a PS4. So do you have any closing comments? What? D dude! Dude! That... No. That is super fucking inappropriate for this show. Uh, no, no, that's... No. 
I'm done. I'm, I'm done here. That is... No, I'm done. I'm fucking done. No. Wait a minute. This is my fucking house. You get the fuck out. Stu, you get the fuck out. I apologize for that. Uh, I didn't know that a jar of pickles could be so damn racist. Um, so my, my deepest apologies to anyone who was offended by the language used by Stu. He will no longer be a part of this show. Uh, that means I need to find a new co-host. So that's going to do it. Uh, as always, I am your host, Attack Slug. And uh, this has been the first and probably only episode of Perplexing Pickles. Uh, and I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.